What is up guys? Malcolm back again from Majestic Skies and today I have another Cyberpunk 2077 video for you guys. Now I don't know if you guys have heard but uh, the, uh, the performance apparently on the uh, original Xbox One and PS4 is absolutely atrocious for this game. So tons of glitches, horrible graphics, and uh, overall just a total flop on those original systems. Quite disappointing actually to see um, because uh, of, the, of the game. So it's another thing I gotta do here. But um, yeah, basically um, I was curious. I started thinking, I wonder does the game actually look better on the lowest possible settings for PC? Like absolute lowest possible settings. Um, and uh, these are basically it, so I just decided to try it out and see. So you, here you can see quick preset, I have the lowest possible settings. Film grain off, chromatic aberration off, depth of field off, lens flares off, motion blurs off, shadows off basically. And like look at this, everything is at the lowest possible setting. Everything's turned off and then I just noticed in here, as you have to make the crowd sizes, sizes smaller to really mimic the console experience here. And uh, other than that, you'll also see if I go to video, I've actually lowered the resolution to 1280 by 720, which is just a terrible thing to do. It's just going to make the game look like crap. But we're going to see, like, will it actually look better with these absolutely horrible settings? 1280 by 720. Here you can see we've got V-Sync to 30, which really, if you V-Sync any lower than that, it's just going to look like total garbage. So let's go ahead and see. Here we are, lowest possible settings. Here we are in the game at 720p. And I'll do a quick drive around. Um, as you can see, I turned down the sizes of the crowds to come and mimic what it would look like on consoles. But obviously with the performance you gain from setting your settings as low, you might as well just set the crowds as big as possible. But as you can tell, it actually doesn't look too bad. Like, I'm actually very surprised. Like, it looks actually pretty decent. Compared to what I've seen of the of the PS4 and Xbox One version, um, it actually looks better like this. Like, I'm not even kidding, and it's pretty crazy. Like, sorry, but uh, yeah, we'll just drive around here. I'll show you guys. Like, literally, I don't know about you guys, but this seems smoother. It seems to run better. I'll see if I can get in some fights too. I'll show you guys some combat, but yeah, like it's crazy. It actually looks better in the PC version of this game at the lowest possible setting. So pretty disappointing um, that they released this game on the base level um, Xbox One and PS4. Uh, I would be pissed if I had bought that for that. You know, it's a great game, uh, really fun, but unfortunately it's just, uh, yeah, it just doesn't work on, on previous consoles. I know the biggest complaint people are having is that this game has been in development for like eight years. So, you know, there's really no excuse for it, uh, it going like that. And uh, yeah, the only setting I didn't turn to quite the lowest was the resolution. But this is the lowest 16 by 9 resolution. The other one's like you know, 1024 by 768, which is just not going to look very good at all. So we're not going to do that, but everything else is at the lowest possible settings. And yeah, you can see the world is pretty empty because we turned the crowds way down. But it's actually pretty smooth and like doesn't look bad. You know, all the textures load just fine. So yeah, I just wanted to share. I just thought it was really funny. We'll see if I can get in some combat here in a second, but I'll show you guys what that looks like. But but yeah, it's just crazy. It actually looks better like this. I was actually thinking it was going to look more like a potato in this version, but it actually looks pretty decent. Like, I'm not going to lie. At 720p, it actually looks pretty decent. And I know apparently... Got some combat here. So see, how does it look with the combat? So, this is a bad guy here. So as you can see, it's pretty smooth. It actually looks pretty good. Even at 720. Like, it's actually pretty playable. The textures are at the lowest possible setting. Ground the ammo. Just now. See, it's actually totally playable and like it doesn't look like crap at all in my opinion. Like it looks basic, like you don't get all these 
great effects that you get on uh, the highest settings, but it's still pretty playable, like, I'm not gonna lie. It's actually pretty playable like this. V-Sync to 30, it's not bad. Of course, you know, normally you'd set it to 1920 by 1080 at least, and then you'd uh, yeah, V-Sync to 60 at the very lowest. Let's see if we can take this car here. Oh, apparently I need a little bit better skill for that, for that particular car. But yeah, I just wanted to share that. It actually looks better like this. I thought it was pretty funny. <laughs> so personally, I think it's pretty bad that they released the game, like I said, in the state it is on the, I guess, previous gen consoles now. So yeah, it's pretty embarrassing. But uh, you know, it's good on PC if you have a really nice PC. Uh, you know, like like I'm showing here, even on the lowest settings, the game actually looks pretty good. So even if you have like a lower end PC. Um, you're probably still gonna have issues running it even on this. Like, it is a pretty demanding game, but but um, you know it actually doesn't look half bad like you know, at these lowest settings. So yeah, I thought that was pretty funny. Um, other than that, I hope you guys are taking it easy. I'm very sorry if you did buy this on PS4 or Xbox One and you're just feeling a bit ripped off because it definitely does suck. Like from what I've seen, as soon as you go into the world, it just looks like total crap. I'll show you guys now what it looks like maxed out here. Let's go ahead and max out the settings here. Uh, so we'll go back up to the... I don't have a 4K TV or monitor, but uh, we'll turn everything else up. Oh, look here. Actually, I wanted to show you guys this. This is funny. So I can set the real console experience here. If I set the max frame rate to uh, 20, and let's see, 1280 by 720, ready? If you want the true console experience, this is what you do. You set the V-Sync to 20 frames per second, and there you go, now you're getting the console experience. <laughs> oh, it's so unplayable like that. It's just funny though, like that extra 10 frames per second really does make a difference. Fee, a vehicle of mine went dark near your position. Fine, keep an eye out. This guy ever leave me alone. For unknown reasons, the coordinates came through corrupted, so I'm unable to determine the precise location. You ain't good for anything. Anyways, now I'll show you guys just completely maxed out here. So I just thought that was funny too. You can play it in total console. Although the theoretically, if you set the max frame rate to 24 and V synced it to 24, it would actually be okay. We don't want to turn a max frame rate on actually. All right, let's go ahead and set this to 60 for the V sync. I'll just turn it off. Whatever. For this example, we'll just completely turn off V sync. All right, and now graphics. I'm gonna set it to the absolute maximum ultra. I'm gonna turn off film grain and. Uh, motion blur because in my experience that actually kind of deteriorates the the image so we won't turn those on but trust me they definitely don't make the game look better well, here we go we want to turn it to psycho mode for screen space reflections and I, unfortunately my graphics card does not support uh any of this stuff but that's okay these are basically maxed out settings you can see here let's make sure it saved them actually uh, okay good all right, so now completely maxed out here, and you can tell <laughs> definitely a noticeable performance loss when you do that. So I wouldn't really recommend doing that unless you have like the absolute nicest graphics card in the world. But yeah, this is basically what the game looks like uh, at the absolute max settings. But it's great you can get the frame rate down to the, the console frame rate right here, and get that nice unplayable experience that everybody's always been wanting. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, all those PS4 and Xbox One uh, users have been waiting for. The heck, the car still doesn't move in there. That's weird. But uh, yeah, if you get like a good balance between it, I'll show you like what I would probably set my graphics to. Let me show you guys. So what I would do, first off, you actually want to go in here and turn up the crowd number because crowd density at low just looks stupid. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'll show you what I would probably set the settings to for best possible experience. I'll probably turn that down to like four local mesh shadow mesh quality down. And yeah, I just want to lower like all of this basically. I would probably put that on volumetric crop cloud quality. I'd probably put that on medium. So for my kind of more entry-level hardware, this is probably what I would do. I have good hardware, but it's not the absolute highest thing in the world. Immune occlusion, yeah, medium's good. 
I guess it turn to low. I don't know. It's a tricky one. Yeah, probably medium. Uh, color precision medium, mirror quality medium, level of detail. I'll leave that on high. So this is probably what I would set mine to for like just the most ideal experience here. And now you can see we've got the game looking really nice. You blind? There. Sorry. But yeah, now you can see the game still looks great and you're getting a very playable experience. So for most, you know, most mid-level to higher-end hardware, this is probably what I'd recommend setting the game. So settings I showed you guys, um, and you can tell, yeah, the game looks pretty good still. I did remember to turn this back to 1080p, didn't I? I really hope so. I'm sure I did. It looks like it's 1080p. I just wouldn't be surprised if I somehow forgot. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Just making sure. But yeah, this is what the game uh, looks like with those kind of more kind of mid-level graphic settings. It still looks great, so for most systems, I'd probably recommend setting to that if you want a solid 60 frames per second like we're getting here. It makes the game so much more playable. So much more playable. So, um, yeah. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, if you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm actually doing a full playthrough on this game on my channel. So if you want to see uh, all the gameplay, uh, my full playthrough of uh, Cyberpunk 2077, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. All of them are coming in live streams. So I'm going to be basically giving a completely unedited, unfiltered look at the game. I don't work for them, obviously. I mean, I'm kind of trashing them on the console version. So <laughs> you know that I don't completely believe everything this company does but i do love the game it's just unfortunate uh, for console players because they have been kind of ripped off i've heard it's the performance is a bit better on the ps4 pro and xbox one s but still not that great like still not the greatest thing in the world but um yeah like i said i would still recommend this game for pc um, as long as you have the hardware able to run it i have a eight core cpu and um, 32 gigabytes of ram and a um, AMD 5500 XT graphics card. So that's kind of what I'm looking at for specs on this. Um, and as you can see, it's very playable. Wouldn't say you need 32 gigabytes. 16 would probably be enough to get the kind of performance I have. But um, yeah, if you want to get a really good, solid 1080p experience, um, obviously you, know, you could upscale to 4K as well. Um, that's you know probably the, these are the specs that I probably recommend. But, um, if you're you know, putting together a new computer. But uh, like I said, do thank you guys very much for watching. And like I said, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks guys.